Now, I already mentioned this earlier, but I want to reiterate the way that this works. Based on the sequence settings that we've set up through sequence, sequence settings through the menu, and we're using the editing mode and the video preview in order to get a compliant preview format that is going to match what you want to export out. If you've set this up correctly, then when you are ready to export, and I've set up this particular sequence here, and I'm ready to export this out, I might just make the adjustment there. Now when I go to File, Export Media, all I need to do is hit this box here, Match Sequence Settings. You can see in the Video tab, the resolution, the codec, the video settings for the width and the height, the frame rate, the field order, it's progressive, and the audio, it's stereo, 48 kilohertz. Everything is a match to the sequence settings for the preview format. If you've already rendered segments of this, then use previews can be ticked and it will use those files that it's already built and stitch them together inside of the rest of the sequence that is not yet rendered. So that small green patch, it will just add those frames into the build of rebuilding everything that is yellow. Now keep in mind that this is going to be a slow kind of process. You've spent quite a bit of time and saved a lot of time um, in doing a workflow where you're able to get the edit going straight away and do everything without having to render it in the timeline. If you have done any rendering, then using previews will speed this up. I just want to highlight again that the output name, this is where you want to make sure that it's going to the right location. It's taking the name of the sequence itself. Good idea is to keep this versioning numbering going along because there will be a point where everyone is going to want to sleep. When you sleep midway through the 48 hours, render out a version. Then you'll have something to hand in in case it all goes horribly wrong. The other good thing about it is if you do have something go in, then because those frames have already been done, if you've got a scene and you know it is exactly how you want it, then when you go through the file export media option, after you've done the match sequence and the use previews, under that is import into project. What that will do is once it's finished doing the export, it will import that file into the project. This is where you would go and check for compliance and make sure this thing plays back exactly how you want to as well. I might just hit export here. Last thing you want to do is have to export this out last minute, not have the chance or the time budgeted to go in and watch it back as a group and see whether or not all of your special effects and sound effects are actually in the edit. Now, because this has gone and imported that file, I can then drop this on top here, just vision. So I might just grab the vision, I'll grab that little icon for just the vision, drop it on top, and if I need to make any audio changes, so let's say I need to uh, just tweak this out, then any frames that are here are going to be sitting on top of the rest of the edit. When I do my export, it's actually going to be quite a bit quicker than it was originally because it doesn't have to create any calculations for the video frames. Match the sequence settings. I don't need to use previews because I don't have any in there at the moment. If I go there, it's already auto renamed this with the underscore one. Hit the export and look at how much faster this is to export out. This is why I recommend that if you finished a certain segment, then do this in, in your sleep. You can set up multiple areas, so you might have a specific zone that you know you want to set up, and you can set this to queue. So when you go to export, media, and match the settings, send it to the queue, what it's going to do is allow you to queue up using media encoder 
a list of all the different segments that you know are done or that are so close to being done that it wouldn't be the end of the world if you just went in and tweaked just a little segment of it. But the majority of the frames that you've got done are done. So you could have that segment go and then go over and create this final segment as well. And you can see here it's just using the in and out range. Make sure you hit that match sequence settings and add it to the queue. Once you hit that play button, go have a rest. Basically go and sleep. It's then gone and added in just these segments. Notice they are time code accurate. So that 1519, which is the beginning of this, if we were to go in and hit 1519, that's exactly where it needs to go. So if I was to just bring that over the top again, I'm going to have an exact match with the footage that's underneath. And I don't need to rebuild those frames. And my final export is going to be that much quicker.